Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a game played between Bobby Karokrasha Fischer and William Edison in 1957. Without further ado, Bobby opens with e4, c6 the start of the card. knight c3 and we get d5 from Edison hitting the pawn. Bobby plays the two knights attacks against the Karokan. We get takes and takes and knight to f6 hitting the other knight. Bobby takes damaging uh, his opponent's pawn structure. We get e takes f and Bobby continues to develop with bishop to c4. Bishop to d6 from Edison, preparing to castle. And Bobby inserts a check with queen to e2. Check gets blocked with queen to e7. And Bobby is happy to exchange and go into an endgame, knowing he can still castle. Edison takes back with a king and allow his rook some space later on. d4 from Bobby opening up his dark sword bishop. And then we get f5 hitting the pawn. Bobby simply defends the pawn by dropping his bishop back. And then we get a rook to e8 just aligning with a white king. Bobby develops bishop to e3. And uh, noticing this alignment with uh, the rook. Edison tucks his king away. Long castle from Bobby also getting out of the pin. And knight to d7. c4 from Bobby. Uh, rook a to d8 and now bobby proposing a bishop exchange and if accepted his king will be improved slightly so we get takes and takes and f5 from edison rook h to e1 from bobby and now we get f4 hitting the bishop and the pawn is nicely defended by uh, edison's d6 bishop bishop to d2 knight f6 and knight e5 planting the knight in the center we get g5 f3 controlling the knight's forward squares and uh, also limiting black's bishop at the same time knight to f5 opening up the f6 square to attack uh, bobby's knight but bobby plays knight to g4 and we get king to g7 from edison here the engine actually wanted f6 anyway we then get bishop to c3 from bobby aligning with uh, the black king King to g6, stepping out of the bishop's way and also improving the king slightly. We get takes and takes and c5, hitting the bishop. Bishop back to b8, d5 and we get the first blunder of the game ladies and gentlemen. Engine actually wanted f6 to drive the knight back and we get takes with a 3 on 2 majority on the um, queen side as we can see over here. We get f5 now hitting the knight uh, but it's too late and now with uh, the rook on d5 bobby can jump in the center of the board um, and it's nicely defended twice edison takes bobby takes hoping to exchange the rooks instead we get knight f6 from edison trying to get his knight away from the side and uh, give it some pride bobby takes with the rook and knight recaptures but again uh, this knight is on the side so pro tip make your opponent's piece of as inactive as possible like we can see bobby doing here and then exactly to that point we get bishop to e5 totally dominating the knight king to h5 king to d3 g4 b4 from bobby a6 and a4 and we can see this is a critical end game strategy that everyone should be knowing firstly edison takes bobby takes back and we get king to h4 and a note according to the bar white is already winning with um 9.2 uh in white's favor according to the bar and we get the dynamite uh move in the position and we know bobby's well versed with end game principles and um, i hope you can see this as well ladies and gentlemen edison forced to respond and then bobby pushes a5 get king h3 from edison c6 from bobby and um, ladies and gentlemen edison resigned in this position and as you can see no matter what white does the pawn uh, actually the a pawn will promote and dominate the game i hope you guys enjoyed and yeah the engine moves just to show the force mate in 11 so we get takes takes and uh You can see uh, this is totally dominating 
taking all the squares away from the king and mate. Hope to see you guys in the next video.